So the session is live on YouTube. Okay, Raj, thank you. Uh, so very good afternoon, uh, one and all uh, presents here. Uh, thank you, uh, participants, uh, for giving us a overwhelming response on today's session on how to become a, an e-learning developer. Uh, yes, uh, you all know uh, now this is going to be the need of the heart, and uh, you have a very big uh, career ahead uh, in this uh, uh, in this era. So uh, here we have uh, uh, Mr. Rajkumar Nadraj, uh, the speaker of the day. Uh, so let me take you uh, with a small intro about uh, Rajkumar Nadraj. Probably most of them would have joined uh, earlier sessions uh, uh, um, where uh, Rajkumar have delivered. Uh, but still, this is going to be uh, something uh, uh, very new, uh, how to become an e-learning developer. So uh, um, about Rajkumar Nataraj, uh, he is uh, himself a uh, learning architect and a trainer and UI UX designer and a simulation-based learning and gamification specialist. He is a founder and CEO of uh, Asheha Technology Services Private Limited Bangalore and Jillian Cube's uh, Learning Foundation, Coimbatore. So uh, he has more than uh, 17 plus years of experience, out of which four plus years in SAP end user enablement services, and eight plus years in web technologies, and five plus years in simulation, gamification, and digital marketing. He is a present uh, consultant and a trainer and a strategic uh, digital marketing services and a consultant for UI UX designs. So he holds uh, multiple certifications from global leaders like uh, SAP. Oracle, uh, KNOA, uh, Interaction Design Foundation, and uh, Google. He also uh, have uh, uh, been awarded uh, as a Corporate Communication Professional of the Year 2018. Being a professional personal branding expert, he was awarded the Brand Builder of the Year 2019. He has been awarded with the highest Google certificate, the Google Analytics, along with six other digital marketing certificates. And uh, he has signed up an MOUs with more than 14 top institutions in and around South India. And uh, his plans are to grow the team, give people the resources they need, and continue to deliver the highest quality of product to you. So I'm excited once again to welcome Mr. Rajkumar Nadraj, bringing people and technology together. Uh, over to you, Mr. Rajkumar. Thank you, Pati. Uh, thanks for uh, the uh, brief intro about me. And I'm very happy to be uh, a part of this session. And I'm very happy to meet all the students online. So, uh, thank you. Uh, good evening, students. So, uh, I know. Raj? Yes, Pati. Uh, Pati, uh, I'll be uh, audible on YouTube, so I muted uh, the Google Meet. Uh... Okay. So, is it audible now? Yes, Raj. Thank you, thank you. Uh... Yes. Good evening, students. So, I'm very happy to meet you all uh, in this uh, warm evening. The weather is very uh, uh, unlikely to rain today, so, so we all are having a great evening after our week's monsoon. So today, this is Monday, so we will be starting with new uh, understanding and new learnings this week. So I am here to introduce about a new career platform to all of you. This is something uh, very new um, to the students who are in, um, in and around uh, our city. We have not been introduced to this technology uh, by a lot of uh, uh, companies, but these technologies are catching up the speed. So it's becoming one of the very prominent technologies. Uh, in India today, uh, the COVID-19 has put up a lot of uh, challenges. One big challenge is to take up education to the uh, students or take up uh, education to the needy uh, people in the remote uh, platform. You all know how difficult to, for us to get into the college or get into the schools today because 
not easy till uh, the government has taken a lot of uh, measure measures but uh, they couldn't find a solution to this and slowly um, the education technology will emerge into a blended learning platform we all would know uh, coursera we all would know udemy we all would know a lot of other e learning platforms which are already available um, in india so all these learning platforms have already taken this technology to the next level so that they would be able to implement the blended learning platform to all the students who who will be learning the new technology uh, new technologies or uh, new courses but what we are going to do with this uh, um, uh, the technology getting emerge so are we getting any opportunity here so do we uh, do we play a part in this uh, era or do we play a part in this evolution yes we can there are a lot of uh, opportunities available every uh, every course or every every everything which comes under the online learning is built with some kind of designer okay so when i mean designer because it is all designed it is all developed for online platform for example there are instructional designers we all know uh, uh, i i have uh, handled this uh, webinars multiple times about instructional designers and instructional designing is something which is very very prominent today for the edtech companies and e learning designers e learning designers and e learning developers are going to be uh, the uh, going to be the future for now we all know uh, all the industries are facing a lot of economic uh, uh, problems in this uh, covid uh, pandemic situation the the industries are facing lot of economic issues okay but few couple of industries very very few industries which are having um, good market today so what what are those industries like healthcare healthcare is evergreen we all know uh, the pharmacy uh, the pharm pharmaceutical companies the pharmaceutical companies are very good even uh, the defense uh, Uh, arm arm manufacturing companies these are doing good today because we all know covid 19 has uh, created tensions border tensions between a lot of countries china taiwan china india even china afghanistan pakistan uh, india there are a lot of issues going around in the world even that there is a big heated tension going in between america and china so all these problems are putting the arms manufacturing companies uh into the next level there are very uh, very few companies which are into educational technologies these educational technology companies are also taking uh, its market to the next level the economy is booming for these educational technology companies why particularly educational technology companies we all know earlier we have to go to the college but today we need to sit at home and then we need to learn things this has introduced uh, us to the new technology new platform yeah new platform to learn uh, new courses or new technologies so this is why uh, this platform educational technology platform is coming up in a uh, coming up very quickly very fastly yeah so what happened today with educational technologies educational technologies are booming with remote learning systems okay earlier any company any any educational institution they had to have the uh, classroom set up done they have to have uh, a, a lecturer uh, in place they have to get the um, they have to get the sorry um Oh, yeah they have to get the students to the college but today it's not the case you can reach to the students at any time anywhere from any place yeah so we all are going online uh, with this educational uh, technology uh, companies 
So what do we do with this educational technology companies? What is e-learning? So I'm going to talk to you about e-learning before we get into uh, your uh, opportunities. What students have to do with this e-learning industry. So e-learning industry has begun uh, to, to emerge from the uh, year early 2000s. So e-learning has been very popular from early 2000s. But uh, is it popular in educational uh, institutions? No. Particularly in, in India, countries like India or Southeast Asian countries, um, we didn't have e-learning set up. But if you see uh, the Western countries, they have the e-learning already set up. They have online learning modules or online learning system available for them so that the students can uh, continue their education even if they are not at uh, the college institutions. So for them, it's not going to be a big task today. But for India, it is a big task because we have a lot of difficulties to talk uh, to take up the e-learning courses. So why? Because all these e-learning courses, we need a technology uh, setup. Uh, we need a technology setup available. We need to have a laptop. We need to have a 5G or 4G data connection. So all these things are putting um, the e-learning industry a little vulnerable in India. But today, the government has also taken a, a immersive steps uh, um, to, to get the e-learning uh, industry, uh, uh, to the, get the e-learning, uh, uh, the remote learning enabled. So I guess in next five or six years down the line in India, we would be having a lot of technology support for e-learning courses. And today, there are a lot of companies or a lot of corporates, they have already taken virtual learning environments. Like virtual learning is like you have virtual reality headsets. So you put up a course and then you just look into the course from the virtual learning, uh, virtual lenses. So virtual reality lenses will take the course to the different level with an immersive learning concept. Like uh, teaching someone with a plant or teaching someone with a... Uh, petroleum uh, uh, well uh, petroleum plant or any machinery even in aviation industries even marine industry any industry for say this immersive learning that is virtual learning environments are going to be very very uh, useful and e-learning is one of the fastest growing industry which has crossed more than 190 billion dollars last year so we are expected to have only in India, we are in, in, in another five years, the industry would reach up to $25 billion, only in India. So it's a big industry. It's a big boom uh, to this uh, industry. So how do you want to be, uh, 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 want to be part of the e-learning industry? There are a lot of uh, areas that anyone can build their career or anyone can build their roadmap to get into an e-learning industry, right? So today e-learning is more popular and recognized as the sixth best technical skill set like a Python programming or like a, a Ruby Rails programming or AngularJS. All these skill sets are stacked up, maybe artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science. Along with this, e-learning is the sixth best skill set in the world. It creates a lot of opportunity. It creates a lot of opportunity for the newcomers okay that too particularly in india india is emerging currently with the edtech companies so you all have a lot of opportunities to um, get placed in an e-learning company so for that what are the skill sets that you need to have so i will take you all uh, through the skill sets that you need to have and we have built up a curriculum putting all the skill sets together okay and an internship program together so in internship program we will give you an on the job training uh, uh, practice so you you will get to work on an on the job uh, 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 on on the job training so that you will get to work on a real time project where we are developing e learning courses to very uh, prominent educational institutions in Coimbatore so for these uh, projects you would be uh, 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 accompanied with us and you will be given the tasks to work on these e-learning projects. Slowly, you will also get to know uh, about the e-learning industry. So this is the right time for all the final year students or maybe the second year students who are aspiring to build up a career next year 
maybe you can get ready for um, uh, your placement interviews for next year so that any corporates who come for a placement uh, a drive for next year they will be very keen to have someone with these technology skill sets listed in their resumes okay so let's all look into the program in detail if you have any questions you can put up in the chat box we will have a session in the later part of the end of this session we will have a, a time allotted for all the questions we would be very happy to answer it okay so what is an e-learning so e-learning is nothing but analyze the learner and, uh, and the institution or the organizational needs and construct a method or design and select instructional strategies and put up everything in an online module and deliver it okay after delivering you will be able to evaluate the students understanding and then give back, give them back a feedback mechanism so that the students will or the learners will understand the course in a better way okay and which are the constructions uh, which sorry which are the uh, industries who are using e-learning uh, today's uh, uh, situation or uh, they have already adapted like healthcare industry computer information technology industry constructional industries and retail and commerce industries banking industries banking and insurance industries particularly the education industry has already started using it today so educational industries are getting uh, uh, getting connected with e-learning slowly and it is going to be a big uh, task uh, in the future What does e-learning related to? So e-learning is related to something which is flexible and which is based on the demand. For example, you are at home today because you are not able to travel to the college. So what happened today? You won't be able to continue your education. What if an e-learning uh, platform is already available with your institution? They would have already started uh, taking the classes, classes available uh, uh, online. So that you would not miss any classroom uh, activities right so today um, for say if uh, there are uh, institutions who have already started using online platform but what happens later slowly and uh, uh, steadily the e-learning becomes a habitual practice to you maybe in future also your institution will start putting up online learning uh, courses so that you will not miss uh, certain activities like uh, if I am a lecturer and if I would want to share more information, I would not have enough time because I would only have the time which is allotted for me in the classrooms. So what I would do is I would go to the online platform and I will upload all my courses online so that my students would be able to absorb more knowledge and they will understand about the system very well. Then it would be useful for them to get, uh, um, get themselves to the next level in their career. But what happens here is when you build up courses for your students, you need to add up certain uh, certain components so that the courses would become very, uh, very interesting and also it would become uh, easy for the students to absorb and they would be able to use it for their uh, career. So that is what is important. So just putting up a course is not easy. You can, uh, uh, e very easy. You can actually create a PowerPoint slide and then upload it on online. So your students can download it and then you can take it. But when you put up that kind of courses, the students would not use it or you would not know how much the student has used it. That is going to be very difficult. So you won't be able to track their progress using just a PowerPoint slide. That's where educational technology companies, they use certain systems like SCOM compliance uh, tools. What they would do is they will track your progress. They will track each and every uh, movement that you have done in your course. So they will give it back to you as a feedback and they will help you out to understand uh, so that you would be able to absorb the complete course. Just by completing the course, it is not going to be useful. You will have to absorb the knowledge from the course. Okay? So that's the reason e-learning uh, principles are used yeah so when when e-learning uh, has to be done you, it has to be done with certain instructional designing uh, uh, technologies okay so you have to use instructional designing methodologies to build up the e-learning courses so once you design the courses uh, with instructional design concepts then you would be developing it 
So how do you develop? Who will develop? An e-learning developer, what he will do? So e-learning developer is nothing but equivalent to a web development uh, person in the industry. For example, you would be using, uh, uh, if any of you are from uh, uh, informational technology background. So how many of you are from informational technology background and how many of you have been into web designing or web development or how many of you have already know the tools like WordPress or Joomla or Moodle kind of tools. Do you have any idea? Uh, if you have any idea, please uh, type it over the uh, chat box. So we would be able to look into it and we can understand. So there are a lot of students today. So the, they are showing interest and uh, sharing their ideas. So now I would want to know from you how many of you already know uh, uh, a web designing tool. If you know a web designing tool, please uh, type it on the YouTube chat box. I will read out your name with your institution's name and then uh, we can discuss further. Mean, meanwhile, I will also I will take you through the instructional designing uh, modules. So instructional designing, what they would do is they will understand. So if you are an instructional designer, what you will do is you will understand who are you building the course and then what is the outcome supposed to be and how it has to come out. So after that, you would be delivering the course through an LMS or an online portal. Then the course would become uh, uh, available. So. Uh, a professor from NAC, uh, Mrs. D. Kavita. So she has um, she has knowledge with WordPress, and she has already used Blogger, eBlogger. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks for uh, sharing uh, your experience. Yeah, and she also used used Moodle. Okay, so she already have a knowledge with two different content management uh, uh, platform that is WordPress and uh, Moodle, and uh, uh, blog blogging software which is the blogger so, so this is how so when you know when you know uh, a Moodle or when you know wordpress or when you know blogger so what with wordpress or with Moodle or with blogger what you do is you design a um, website you design a uh, lms mr punitavel ramani from uh, kat uh, college Coimbatore. he has uh, uh, experience in Moodle. yes with Moodle, you will be developing an LMS. With WordPress, you will be developing a website. With the blogger, you will be creating blogs or you will be writing blogs, right? So Janani, uh, she is from uh, Shakti Kailash uh, Women College, Women's College Salem. She has developed uh, her personal, personal blog using Blogger and WordPress. And uh, she also designed templates for social media posts. That's awesome. So we all know designers, right? So what we do, when we design, um, a social media post or when we design website or when we design blog uh, or when we write a blog or when we design an LMS using Moodle, what we exactly do is we express our thoughts, we express our information, right? So in, in the social media post, what you do is either you would be uh, advertising a product or you would be creating awareness to a product or a concept. So that's when uh, you will put everything together in a social media post or social media uh, design then you will upload it in the uh, social media portal, right? The same you will be doing with e-learning uh, uh, modules. An e-learning designer, he will get all the information from an instructional designer. He will put everything together in a very attractive or very engaged way. And then he will get it as an output so that uh, we can upload it to the online portal and students would be able to use it, right? Okay, Mr. Trega, uh, he has uh, experience with WordPress. That's great. Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> how do you all want to be an e-learning, uh, or may maybe a how, how what will attract you? Either either a text-based uh, advertisement will attract you, or a visually engaging uh, advertisement will attract you, or if if you go to a website, if you go to a website, what would you first see? Whether the content or the uh, interface, like design or the content, what would you first see or which will uh, impact you or impress you in the first uh, site? So whether, uh, please answer it. Uh, the thing is, what will impress you? Whether the content or the design, what will impress you uh, when you first get into a website or when you first get into a social media post 
or anywhere for the say even if you open up a newspaper in the morning what will attract you whether you will read out something which is text rich column or you will read something which is uh, designed well and then it has a lot of visual elements there design right visually engaging with catchy wordings and design mr uh, there, there are a lot of uh, inputs now right so janani uh, she is mentioned as engage visually engaging with catchy wordings yes words are very very important so there are equal the the the, the content and the, everything has to be equally proportionate right so yes ma'am designing the page kartika uh, trega uh, punita vel ramani so we all are going it with design so design should be there along with the good content if both matches then you would be able to take it to the next level if both matches then it is successful today i have a powerpoint slide in front of you only the content will not attract you or impress you the design of the powerpoint slide is very very important because i am sitting somewhere and i i my face is not uh, visible to you that is for a reason because when when my face is visible to you yeah you would you would only focus on me but when when my face is not visible to you and when when the slide is visible to you you will be focusing more on the slide and you will be focusing more on the content right so here i have the content in front of you here the design and the content both are very very attractive if what of the both are not attractive you would not be uh, uh, giving a little hint to it and you will not even look at this content right Mr. Tirlok Sundaram, he is saying a design and visual effects. Yes, just not a, not the design. The visual effects should be good. So uh, the movies like Star uh, Trek or the movies like uh, Star Wars or the movies like um, Avengers. So all these movies got successful. All the movies became very famous in the world and it became uh, one of the box office hits because these movies had very good visual effects. There are rich, rich content movies. but they don't hit the box office like this right those movies would not hit the box office uh, like this so what happens there is those movies will be successful but will not hit the box office but if a movie who has good design good visual effects those movies will become a big success that's what i am meaning to say here right so any e learning modules have to have a good design with proper content like catchy words which janani has mentioned you have you would have good content with good and very attractive designs so the content would be given by instructional designers and the design would be done by uh, e learning designers so e learning designers would use certain tools here are the tools if you see uh, storyline articulate storyline lectora easy generator go more learning adobe illustrator adobe captivate these are the tools we would be using to build e learning modules so like if you if you how many of you have hands on experience with illustrator so what is why does it is mentioned as illustrator that is photoshop but this is mentioned as illustrator because you would be you you would be designing vectors you will be designing illustrational diagrams using uh, adobe Uh, the illustrator tool and then you would use it to explain your concepts so that's why adobe illustrator is used used and lectora storyline so all these tools are used so that you can build an e uh, learning module in a very good uh, uh, attractive design so that it will come out very well so i will show you for a couple of uh, e learning courses also so that you would be able to see what has become what i will show you the difference yeah so today the uh, the the industry has uh, got into the next level there are a lot of uh, uh, um, uh, companies from western uh, uh, companies they have started outsourcing e learning projects to india earlier we have been seeing that bpo have been outsourced or uh, software uh, has been outsourced or any other activities have been outsourced but e learning projects are getting outsourced from uh, western countries to india and even india's e learning content the requirement for e learning content the demand for e learning content is rising right so what what do you need to do to get into this kind of job positions so we will put up a road map and i will show you what are the skill sets that you need to get equipped with
so we will also give you a real time projects with real time projects we will set goals we will build your skills we will upskill yourself and we will share a lot of knowledge with our experience and we will we will mentor you every day we will mentor you with the real time projects okay so with the real time projects you will be able to practice what you have learned and we will also create opportunities we will we will create career opportunities for you we have a lot of upcoming projects we would see if uh, you uh, you do good and if you perform good we would see you absorbing in those projects and at last we will train you on the complete e learning ecosystem so from beginning to end you would you would understand the complete e learning ecosystem so with this you would be able to build a road map and build a career plan uh, with uh, e learning industries the edta companies are top 12 growing companies in today's era okay so top 12 if you take top 12 industries edtech is also listed there and it is growing very quickly to beat the other bigger industries like banking or like uh, uh, healthcare or like pharmaceuticals all these industries are already have uh, already there in the top 12 and edtech industries are getting into the uh, top 10 very soon and if you see lot of corporates like jio or lot of co the corporates like uh, zoho so these companies are getting into e learning industry even google started investing more into e learning so when they invest more into e learning they would see to new people joining their um, stream so new bloods join their stream so that the creativity and the innovation would be more so then you would have a lot of uh, opportunities build up if there are a lot of opportunities build up you should see how you can take that opportunities and work with it so you need to get equipped with certain technologies to take those opportunities and then get placed by yourself yeah and you have a great career with e learning so uh, uh there are 1.5 million academic institutions are already using uh, e learning platforms the market research says it it is somewhere around 300 billion dollars yeah so it is going to grow 300 billion dollars by 2025 across the world okay across the world but i am talking about only in india it is going to be 25 billion dollars 25 billion dollars is big market okay and it is going to be huge in two or three years so you need to be ready for that yeah and the salary range for an instructional designer and e learning developer would be, would be somewhat around uh, 6 6 lakhs to 7 lakhs or 8 lakhs to 10 lakhs per year so for an entry level you can actually get placed to 4 lakhs 5 lakhs or minimum 3 lakhs uh, per year in india so these are all the information you can you can actually go ahead and then um uh, surf through the internet you have a lot of inform information there you would see it in dollars and also you can convert it into indian rupees you can see how much is the salary uh, average salary paid for e learning developers or instructional designers in india and outside india okay so these are the uh, leading corporates they are um they are uh, recruiting e learning uh, developers like the corporates like infosys wipro byju's extra solutions educom ea design nit tata interactive system and cognizant tata interactive system if you see they are the biggest uh, corporate uh, e learning suppliers byju's you see k12 uh, e learning suppliers and they are also getting into virtual learning environment and they have got uh, into huge uh, uh, acquisitions even uh, last couple of weeks so they are investing more so when they invest more they would create lot of opportunities for new students and freshers so when freshers are there they would come to freshers first and i'm 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 serious to tell this the people who are into software development the people who are into uh, any other area of development they don't focus much into e learning development because e learning development doesn't uh, put lot of interest into them yeah but freshers if they put lot of interest into e learning you would cross the software development platform very quickly and you would be crossing their salary very quickly and you can build up more uh, um, career opportunities maybe uh, in two or three years down the line
so our course curriculum would focus on these topics we will cover basics of instructional designing we will cover basics of graphic design we will cover what is com when you when you say basics of instructional design we will see uh, how do you conceive a concept and write your own storyboards so that you would be able to understand an instructional designer storyboard so instructional designers are different instructional designers have huge experience and huge exposure they are like the screenplay writer of a movie and if a director doesn't know how how do how do they write a screenplay then it is very very difficult for them to direct a movie okay for example if sujatha is the screenplay writer and if shankar is the director shankar should know what is the basics of screenplay writing if he doesn't know what is the basics of screenplay writing he will not be able to conceive the idea from sujatha so that's why an e learning designer should know what is instructional designing once you know what is instructional designing you would be understanding their language the instructor designer language you would be able to conceive their idea and you will put it on your uh, course designs next is graphic design graphic design where we will cover simple graphic design tools like adobe illustrator adobe photoshop and uh, maybe a bit more into uh, the powerpoint so powerpoint has a bit more uh, complex solutions that we will introduce it to you why because you cannot go to uh, uh, another graphic designer when there is something needed so you should know basic tools basic uh, uh, skill sets so that you would be able to do your own activity like if you need uh, a character set like if you need a doctor's character or if you need a uh, 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 any any type of character well, what you can do is you can go on directly you can chop it or you can crop it and then you can use it you no need to go to a graphic designer until unless if it is a little typical uh, things that you need it from a graphical designer okay so basics of graphical designing we will we will cover it here in this curriculum then comes the uh, scom content uh, uh, management system scom is something uh, which we use for uh, tracking and uh, seeing the progress of the courses so you should know what is a scom and how does a scom work so we will also cover a scom content management system so that you would be able to use it in the e learning modules and um, so the instructional designing would be around 7 hours of uh, uh, content and uh, graphical designing would be around 7 hours of content scom would be around 2 hours of content and we will cover basics of e learning tools so uh, small small e learning tools we will uh, cover it to you so that a free free tools which you can use it uh, on a um, uh, large scale basis so that would be around 2 hours we will be mostly focusing on articulate 360 because articulate 360 is a most prominent tool which is used in uh, e learning industry we ourselves use a lot of uh, articulate 360 uh, technologies to build up our e learning modules so we will be covering a big uh, 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 area in uh, article 360 from uh, starting from um, uh, course designing uh, slide designing a uh, template designing then picking up the components so uh, then then there are a lot of triggers that we will be using we will be using a bit of javascript into this uh, uh, modules so javascript why do you use javascript is to integrate it with a technology right so we will use triggers we will use variables and we will also use we will also show you how to use multimedia content like a video content or a graphical content with the e-learning modules and we will we will also tell you how to build up uh, scenarios uh, uh, scenes um, you need to build up scenes so that it would be easy for the students to work with and we will also say uh, explain it to you on scenario building and then we will take you to how to publish the courses for an lms or a, an online portal so once you publish how do you evaluate it from the students so everything we will cover so this would be around 22 hours of content so this 22 hours of content is will make you an e-learning developer with article 360 uh, in it so anyone who are here and if anyone want to verify what is article 360 and how prominent is article 360 in educational industry you can go and type just type article 360 articulate 360 on google and then you can go to each and every page and then have a look at it how articulate 360 is getting evolved in the e-learning platform so there are a lot of things which we will introduce it to you and also we will introduce it to the industry magazine like e-learning industry atnd so there are a lot of industry magazine websites which is available so that you would get to know what is the upcoming 
technology in an e-learning industry so this is going to keep you in the race very good okay so you need to get updated information you need to know what's happening around you and you need to have, have know what's happening around your industry that will create a lot of opportunities to you i know we are all have been getting into the placement campus okay uh, play uh, campus placement drives we will just choose uh, uh, we will we have been choose, uh, chosen by a, uh, the corporates but they will take you and they will train you and then they will put you on the roles but what i am saying is once you get equipped with these knowledges corporates will come and pick you just for the role so you you getting picked by a corporate and getting trained and then getting placed or getting into the bench getting into the project that is a big task we all know how difficult that is but if you have the right skill set corporate will pick you directly into the project once you get directly into the project you will have a big advantage than the, than someone who has not have the skill set so think about it and nowadays corporates are looking for people with e learning technologies so think about it put all your time and effort into it understand more about the e learning technologies take it then go to the corporate and then get become a shining star in that company so we will give you on the job training okay we will put you in one of our e learning project we will give you every day course building activities so you would build course building co courses along with me and my team so my team will guide you my team will tell you how do you you have to use because we all know driving okay we we can we can sit at home and then uh, take up a, a, a game and then start driving a car but it's not easy to drive it on the road so when you drive it on the road you will face a lot of difficulties lot of issues so when you get into the real time project you will face a lot of things only those uh, uh, scenarios will build you as a successful e learning developer so we will put you in all the online uh, on uh, the real time projects so you would be able to grasp more information out of it okay and there are also overseas opportunities for instructional designing and e learning developer uh, uh, career so you can you can put yourself you can think about it you can go to glassdoor you can go to payscale you can see what's the salary for an e learning developer and instructional designer in canada so canada is much emerging today even united states is emerging southeast asian countries are emerging even in india there are a lot of opportunities come up so don't wait and then just look into it and then go ahead with your thought process and then put things together and let me know uh, what you have as a question okay and i will show you couple of e learning uh, modules which we have developed so that uh, it would be easy for you to um understand okay so what i can show you here is uh, i'm opening up a course wherein you would be able to see what's an e-learning module how does an e-learning module look like so i will i will show you a, a course which we have developed for flipkart okay so this was developed by my team uh, with flipkart's uh, 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 content management team okay this is for the flipkart security uh, uh, course so anyone who joins flipkart they should first go through uh, their security practices okay flipkart has outsourced it and flipkart also has its own internal team who develop this uh, courses course on office security okay. awareness somewhere if they don't know Please how to do it they will outsource it to us to start the course. and we we build them the uh, courses okay so these are the designs uh, these are the courses Hello which we have designed ourselves and this is the animation which we have designed awareness. so once you get into a course uh, uh, our course you will know Adopt which are the tools to use office. to be used to build up such modules such e-learning content so we will in help you out in understanding to understand. um, the, the technology behind this course are similar to these courses what is office security why is office Here, what you will learn is how to important. work with multimedia like how do you uh, generate your own voiceovers security. using certain tools 
how do you uh, generate videos like uh, there are tools like beyond animate so all these tools we would uh, take you through you will be able to un you will be able to do your own animated videos so all these uh, things we will train it to you click on each access point to learn more welcome to the course on office security awareness Please click on the start button to so start. So this is how a uh, course looks like. So you can actually take anywhere, uh, and then you Better can see. see detail. How Flipkart okay. Provides so all these kind of courses are built course. from our uh, uh, team. Considering the safety. So we will help you out in building such courses. Okay, and if there is anything that you would want to uh, know, uh, the session is open to you, and uh, you can ask your questions through your. Uh, uh, YouTube chat box. I would be uh, very help, uh, very happy to help you out. Yeah. So any questions? I'm looking at the. I'm staring at the chat box. Uh, any questions? I uh, I will be able to uh, answer it to you. I will read out your name, and then I will answer your questions. I am seeing a lot of MCA uh, students here and uh, they are from KIT. How about questions? So do you have any questions here? There is a question on the YouTube. Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing Mr. Dr. Prasant. Uh, Dr. Prasant, uh, the cost is actually for students, it's different, and I hope uh, uh, for uh, others uh, it will be seven triple nine. And for students, we have an offer uh, four triple nine. And uh, so this is the offer right now. We are running it. And so, what is the starting salary from Marup and Gopalakrishnan? So starting salary, as I said, uh, it will it will st start anywhere uh, average from 3.5 lakhs to 4 lakhs, and uh, there are a lot of companies uh, who are cropping up today. And uh, any corporates, if you get placed, it will be around 3.5 lakhs to 4 lakhs. And how to do transform this e-learning to students through internship? Uh, Ma'am, uh, I think um, uh, you are asking about how do we transform uh, the e-learning uh, concept to the students through internship programs. So what we will do is we will train them up uh, in the beginning. So we will give them an e-learning module. So they will go through all the e-learning modules and also we will have week to week, uh, week on week sessions with them. So we will share the uh, uh, course progress or we will share the feedback and we will also answer the questions one on one. Then what happens is uh, we will put them on an internship project when we will put them on one of our e-learning project. They will get uh, access to our uh, e-learning uh, development projects. Then we will show them how the uh, project is planned and how it is uh, coming up and what are all the internal activities that we do to develop an e-learning module. So everything we will explain to them so that they will understand in and around of e-learning uh, modules. It will be easy for them to face the interview because it's not a theory uh, which you learn it from a book. It is something which is the experience. So that will put up uh, put them up in a very better position when they face any interviews. That's the reason the internship program is very very important. Yeah. So Kartika is I'm a chemistry student, but I am interested in design. So what type of uh, what type I'm learning for design? Uh, Kartika, you see, the thing is, uh, you may be from any industry or any any uh, academic background. The only thing which you need here is you need interest in designing. If you're passionate in designing and if you can put uh, design together, that's very, very important. And being in chemistry is a much better advantage so that for you, if you have to build up a chemistry uh, uh, e-learning modules, it is very, very easy. You will encounter it. When see like uh, platforms like Baiju's, they have their own chemistry uh, classes 
and there are a lot of uh, e-learning companies coming up they will build up their own curriculum and if you have both uh, chemistry and e-learning uh, designs then you will be the much better person to get placed into that department okay so uh, cross functional is going to be very helpful here yes sir uh, mr dr prasad uh, yes uh, it, the training would be given through online we will give you an online online portal access where you would be uh, given the uh, content uh, uh, to go through so you you will have to go through all the content and you will also have online uh, exams or online tests to understand your uh, knowledge then uh, we would take you to the internship that also would be mostly remotely worked so there is no need for you to travel to the place you can remotely work we will assign the task you just need to remotely work and then share it with us so kartik uh, Marappan Gopalakrishnan is the certification worth in the industry uh, actually the certification I don't know uh, whether it is worth in the industry or not but the skills are very much important to the industry if you go with the skill nobody is going to care about uh, the certification even if I am an e-learning company and if somebody is certified on certain things I won't take them only thing is I will look into their skill sets if they have the skill sets and if they are able to answer it to me that's when I will take them to my job that's why certification as you say any any uh, corporate or any industry certification just certification will not help you in getting a job for sure the certification will play a role to get into an interview but your skill sets are very very important to get into the course model yeah and kartika as uh, what are the skills i learn from e-learning so the e-learning the skills as i said you would be learning instructional designing and graphical designing and e-learning tools and how to build e-learning courses with an e-learning uh, with an e-learning tool called Articular 360 and you will also know what about uh, the certain basic things about SCOM compliance and LMS tools then you would get an on-the-job training so these are all the skill sets you will be taking home yeah Trilogam Sundaram sir it is sir it is valuable session my question is after completion of this course will you give you career career opportunities yes as I said we will absorb you uh, to one of our own uh, e-learning project so we have a lot of e-learning projects upcoming so all these e-learning projects we need resources we will absorb you and also we will will we will share your resumes and create opportunities with the corporates so you can uh, get placed and also you can get prepared for your next camp uh, campus placement drive for sure, the campus placement drive, your resume would be first uh, shortlisted first because you have this skill set. Okay, that is very, very important. And uh, Mrs. D. Kavita, she is asking, let me know the learning processes, how many modules and duration. So, there are five modules. The duration is 40 hours, ma'am. So, as I said, instructional designing would be seven hours. Graphical designing would be seven hours. Form compliance uh, would be uh, two hours. E-learning tools would be two hours. Articulate uh, would be... 22 hours so i will also take you through the online uh, uh, you see this is the course curriculum we will be uh, covering up to you so basics of instructional designing instructional designing basics and uh, instructional uh, designing instructionally sound e-learning courses interactive learning what is interactive learning we will explain it to you and advancing your instructional skills yeah and basics of graphical designing we will uh, take you through the graphic design theory for for uh, in a beginner level then we will uh, explain to you about the color theory typography theory photography theory layout theory so here what we will tell you is how do you e use a color or a, a font or a stock photography or a layout so we will explain it to you in detail and how do you legally use uh, copyrighted photographs or copyrighted contents without getting infringed so that also we would uh, and make you understand and in SCOM content management basics we will uh, make you understand in SCOM basics so what is uh, SCOM compliance in basic level and setting up a SCOM compliance uh, tool and how do you track post fail data chunks on time how do you track all these status through your e-learning modules so that it is very very important for building up any e-learning modules for an LMS and we will take you through various types of e-learning tools and uh, rapid authoring tools okay and assessment tools like Kahoot and uh, hot potatoes and all 
we will help you out in understanding uh, those tools and at the end we will take you through an in detailed course which is article 3 360 uh, course where we would help you in understanding introduction to e-learning with article 360 and building a ppt presentation and then importing it to the article 360 you can import any ppt to the article 360 and then you can build up your own courses that we will help you out and using assets and uh, elements and working with the media content multimedia content and uh, assessing the e-learning variables and triggers and working with slides and layers and we will also take you through javascript here a bit of introductory javascript here and working with your quiz slides result slides working with audio and customizing your course design customizing the course player and previewing and publishing your own project so these are all the areas we would be covering it to you through this course yeah and so for studying e-learning what are the skills are to be needed so there are skills to be needed is uh, you need to have an open mind and if you're if you're passionate about designing that's more than enough all the skills would be taught through this course so i got it skill development is the core thank you sir thank you marapan so mba students does not have more technical knowledge regarding is it possible to learn comfortably sir it is uh, to anyone they can use just not the students even the lecturers they can use uh, this is a very simple tool. It is like Microsoft Office or Microsoft uh, PPT PowerPoint. So this is not a big deal uh, except one or two uh, JavaScript lines that you need to code it. So that is also very simple. And the most important part is you should know uh, the designing. If you have the designing sense or if you have passion, if you are passionate about designing, then it is very, very uh, useful for you and janani i have already applied for an online internship with zillion cubes on digital marketing can i get to know more about it and does it require any fee payment uh, janani i guess uh, pati will discuss about you because here we have other people also and uh, pati uh, please talk to janani and then uh, help her out in understanding the uh, digital marketing internship uh, program and sure. uh, please share the contact contact details with uh, uh, prashad so he would like to contact us uh, Vijay Kumar sir thank you uh, sir can you uh, can your company provide the real time project opportunities for our PG students yes sir for any students we would be giving the real time projects we have our own online learning platform and we have e-learning projects with us we will share them the real time projects as well yeah so what is the basic educational qualification is required to learn about e-learning module sir for me, if you ask me, you can uh, anyone can take the e-learning modules or e-learning courses. But for corporates, they have their own uh, 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 skill sets uh, as a basic skill sets needed. Any any bachelor degree holder, any diploma degree holder, they can take up the courses. And only your skill sets are going to matter, not the educational qualification. But if you have the skill set, you can get placed in any corporates because these are the highly important skill sets which are required today, right? and any questions uh, you can reach out to us apathy you can share our uh, uh, the links so that uh, they would be able to share their uh, thoughts and uh, in share i will learn about uh, mr joel is saying that uh, the website is not operational sir uh, you can take this website sir this is our website yeah, it is operational uh, it was uh, down as we have we were uh, upgrading our systems and uh, it will not be able to uh, you 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 will see you will be able to see all the courses uh, listed there so uh, mr marapan is asking about uh, their coordinator to be trained yes sir we can uh, uh, train your coordinator and we can also support your uh, exclusive e-learning cell uh, with the technologies which we are using right now yeah so you can contact us sir. Uh, pati please share it on the end uh, the, uh, the contact details so everyone can uh, take a note of it and we will also share uh, the feedback form so once you fill up the feedback form we will get back to you yeah and uh, uh, if you have any questions you can also mention it in the feedback form either uh, in the comment section of this uh, uh, youtube uh, video you can mention your questions or your uh, feedbacks or your uh, thoughts we will uh, contact you back uh, with all the information needed sir yeah 
and any more questions i'm still here so what you should do next is uh, fill out this following form and uh, you can scan the qr code and also you can type in the url uh, 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 there so pati would be sharing the url and it will be also available in the description box uh, you can fill out the following form we will be uh, contacting you with the details needed yeah and this uh, e-learning uh, developer training and internship program which we are exclusively giving it on a discounted price to the students the program fee as such it is seven seven triple nine but for the students we are giving it for four triple nine okay so we are here to make the students ready for the e-learning platform so take the opportunity and uh, build yourself a career make yourself ready for uh, the uh, um, industry revolution okay if you still have any questions you can reach out to us the contact number is already shared by uh, pati in the box we will also put it in the description box okay if you have any questions you can reach out to us we will be very happy to help you out okay um yeah if there are no more questions uh, i would not take much time from you all and uh, that's it uh, that's it from my side and we will meet you all in an another session and i would love to see you a lot of people taking this program and getting benefited through this program and building up their own career if you have any questions you can reach out to us thank you thanks a lot for all of your uh, involvement and the participations today yeah thank you for all of you who have uh, responded to through the chat box and sharing all your thoughts and uh, questions i'm very uh, thankful to you all uh, without you the session would have not been so very interactive and engaged thank you thank you each and every one yeah and uh, he is asking about the qr codes one sec sir i will go back to the qr code yeah you can scan the qr code from here yeah uh, pati uh, you can share the uh, uh, feedback uh, form link and the course page link so that uh, they can have access to it Okay, uh, Pati, please share the feedback link. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it, Raj. I'm doing it. And uh, Mr. Joel from B School, um, uh, he wants to talk to us. Uh, Pati, why don't you talk to him? Yes, Raj. Uh... Yeah, sir. We will we will talk to him. Uh, please fill out the feedback form and share your contact details, sir. Uh, uh, Mr. Pati will contact you on this. Thank you, sir. Thanks for the interest. thank you all thank you all for the participation uh, uh time to say uh, uh bye and uh, my wishes so wish you all a best uh, good career ahead and good uh, education ahead so take benefit from this program and if you have any questions please put it on the chat box thank you bye bye so pati shall i go ahead and end the session Yes, sir. Uh, thank you so much uh, for your uh, session and uh, participants, uh, uh, especially the participants, whenever we come up with such a session, uh, your uh, response is uh, totally overwhelming. And thank you so much uh, for uh, the entire participants and all the institutions uh, who supported us a lot and who made this uh, session a, a great one. Uh, so thank you so much and uh, uh, all the links, the feedback link and the course link have been uh, shared on the uh, uh on the youtube chat box you can please uh, fill your uh, uh, feedback link and you can uh, leave your contact number uh, shortly uh, you will uh, get a call from me we can discuss on this so thank you so much uh, uh, for your uh, uh, wonderful uh, support and uh, thank you so much raj and thanks entire Brazilian cubes team uh, who was behind this uh, uh, session uh, making it a great success thank you so much once again thank you pati uh, thank you all uh, once again and uh, see you again on another session. Thank you.